I recently did a video where I took on what I thought was the hardest one page comic for AI to generate art for. This page had, it had close ups of hands, it had scene changes, it had walking, it had all sorts of stuff that I thought would be difficult. I took it on, I tackled it, thought I did okay. But then all of you out there accused me of something. We're gonna handle those accusations right now, today. Hey there, I'm Aaron, and this is Camp Peculiar, a channel dedicated to visual storytelling using AI art. And here's the deal. I decided to take another shot at what I thought would be a very hard comic to do for AI. It's three pages this time. And here's the thing. You guys accused me of not knowing what image prompts were. So yeah, that's true. I don't I don't rely on image prompts a whole lot. And I'll tell you why. In version three of Mid Journey and version two, I just didn't think they worked. I know all of you disagree with me, but I, I just didn't think they work. And so I got into a habit of just trying to prompt hack, just trying to work on the prompt to get it to do what I wanted to do. So it's not in my brain. It's not something that I think about. So today I'm taking on three... I'm going to say difficult pages filled with panels. In fact, the only text I'm going to type is for style words, and there will only be a few of those, three or four style words, uh, and then flags for mid-journey, like the aspect ratio, uh, no words like no people, no faces, no monster trucks. That was a joke. You should, all, you should always, always include monster trucks. But other than that, no descriptive prompt text whatsoever. We're going to rely 100% on Midjourney version 4's ability to generate comic art using entirely image prompts. All right, so first things first always is the story, and uh, I, I could write it, but I thought I would have chat GPT, which is a pretty neat sort of like plain language AI uh, front end from OpenAI. thought I would have it uh, take a shot at writing the story. The only idea I really had was something about like a, a, a lady or someone on a desert island. So just type in here, write a short story about an, a lady uh, on an island, and we'll see what it comes up with. Uh, something about a lady named Sen Sarah lives on a beautiful island. Sarah loved the peace and solitude of her island home. Okay, this is like a real story here. It's way too long for what we're doing, but I will try to take some elements out of this living on an island or being on an island. So next I'm in Superscript. It's a comic writing piece of software um, that I'm using on a Mac that I've shown on this channel before. And we'll just give this comic title, the island. And then on page one, uh, panel one, we'll do an establishing shot. Panel two is what I call like a mid context panel. And here's the reason why I'm including it here is because I, I am not confident in my ability to get a hammock or a rope around a palm tree in any way that that will be usable. So I do this mid context from the establishing shot panel one, we're on an island, then I show palm trees, or, or you should try to show palm trees. And that way, when I show a rope tied with some, to some anything cylindrical in the next panel, uh, there'll be this sort of associative thing, hopefully that that this must be tied to the palm trees, I just saw the 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 comic person showed me palm trees for a reason. This is that rope. And then if you follow that up with a hammock, then uh, you get sort of a sequence of contextual items is kind of how I think about that. And then after the story, I went ahead and just kind of drew out sort of a rough draft of the comic or what I think it should look like just to sort of catalog my ideas. I think this is totally optional and uh, unnecessary. Then from that sort of drawn outline of the story and the script, I'm going to go into Photoshop here. I'm going to create a standard comic book size, 11 by 17, and then just draw out a bunch of the panels here, kind of going off of my script and the outline that I drew. So I make these uh, panels just with a black stroke. They're just all vector objects on their own layer and then set a fill color to whatever you want so that I can put the generated artwork on top of the layer that has all the panels, turn that layer or all of those art layers into clipping masks, and then the color of the panels will go away. And you'll be left with just the artwork that is uh, on top of that panels layer. Starting with off of some stock photography just to see kind of how that works. And, and I, I got this idea got this crazy idea in my head that I want to tell you about. I thought, hey, why don't I just build the whole comic page out of the images that I want? And, and then instead of running individual image prompts through Midjourney, I'll just run the one whole page and Midjourney will get will just it will go through find all the panels and just give me back those images, right? That'll work. All right, so in Midjourney, I went ahead and just exported that whole comic page that had all of the images, like stock image stuff that I put in there. And then Midjourney won't take an upload, so I uploaded that to my own website and then just gave it the URL for that. 
I did accidentally type in some text there with the first prompt, but I did rerun it with just the image. Let's see what happens. It doesn't look bad. Like there's something there. It's got palm trees. Uh, it does not look like the panels that I put in, but it doesn't look awful either. There's like a lot of good ideas in here. They're just like, this is the problem. And this is one of like the challenges of, of storytelling with comics right now with AI art um, is that little changes in the scene or little additions or nuances of the scene could have a confusing or a big impact on the story. So if this person's supposed to be truly, truly deserted on an island, if, if that is one of the story points, then these shots like this one in the lower left of the, the of the island, that's great. That's like, that's a good panel. That's to me usable. Um, but a lot of the other ones, they show multiple islands, they show things, and that would just bring up a bunch of questions uh, that people would have. Like, I don't understand, is it uh, war, island against island or what's going on? Uh, so now I'm realizing I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to just generate this image by image. Um, I think this probably will work at some point in the future to just lay out your comic. Maybe you won't even have to go that far at some point in the future. If you wanted to, you probably would be able to just lay out your comic with images, run the whole page through. Maybe you just run multiple, a bunch of pages all at the same time through and you get it back stylized and all that kind of stuff. Uh, right now, not usable. I'm going to have to do it one at a time. So let's get to that. I think it's funny because no matter how empty the image is, there there's this stylization thing where Midjourney takes its sort of own bias and style and wants to put that into the image. Uh, and I don't think in version four, at least at the time of recording this video, I, I can't dial back the stylize parameter. Um, you can change styles. Right now, there are two different styles of version four. There's um, version A, 4A, and then there's version B, which is the flag uh, stylize 4B. Uh, and so 4B is supposed to be a little bit better, a little more stylized, a little more artistic, I think. They both are plenty. Um, but I'm bouncing back and forth between 4A and 4B and favoring 4B at the moment. I think we're about done generating all the images. All of them need some amount of work under them, but I, I've gone ahead and uh, I got a seed that I liked, ran that through a bunch of different images, and I think I have every panel somewhat accounted for. Usable stuff, it's all gonna require a lot of editing in Photoshop, but that's okay. So first thing that I'm going to do is just bring in my first image, which is the island all on its own. And I, I, I want more water space, again, to sell that idea that this is sort of a deserted island, or at least it's far away from everything. Uh, and I'm just not getting that on the left. There's like, you know, edges there that just don't put it far enough out in the ocean. So what I opted to do here is uh, take the image, you know, cut it, half of it off, flip it, you know, rotate it, translate it horizontally, whatever, put it in there, and, and then use the eraser tool to just kind of get rid of the overlap spots. Luckily, uh, clouds and foliage are really easy to overlap, so it shouldn't be a problem there. Next up, the opening sequence, the the establishing shot of just this island. You can tell, see there's way too many islands, and this one has some kind of Joker-esque um, statue right in the middle of it, which is not part of my story. Uh, so I'm going to content aware fill that guy out there, uh, and then need to do a bunch of other work getting those islands out there. And, and water, again, this is a pretty even color palette. So I will do just a bunch of content fill awares and then probably use the blur tool and the smudge tool to create sort of, you know, a, a kind of transition between those areas. This hammock is really hard. We've got a lot of people jumping into vinyl banners. Um, so if you're thinking about doing a comic of people jumping into vinyl banners, I think you're going to have an easy time of it. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong, but I'm just having a really hard time getting a hammock shot that is not... It's like uh, hands, feet, and hammocks. Those, those are the three H's that we're having a hard time with. The coconut shots uh, came out kind of fun. It's way too many panels dedicated to coconuts. You know, they get three sizable panels and they're not a key part of the story in any way, which is way too many panels for something that's just sort of a, a supporting kind of idea. And the hand surprisingly came up okay. So when I get an image like this where I just, I really like it, I think it reads as a coconut. I like the, the thing. It's worth it for me to then go ahead and separate it from the guy in the suit behind it. 
came back to the hammock shot and went a completely different direction uh, and just did a search for hammocks in the mountain, which means now I got to take those mountains out. Uh, but this does look like a girl in a hammock or on a like swing or something. I just I don't know if that reads hammock either, but it's what we're going with. I just need to put in some ocean sky there, which shouldn't be difficult at all. Just go grab one of the previous images and grab the sky from that and just kind of blur the blur the difference between the two. So there we go. There's the the finished comic as it stands right now with the island. And uh, she's like, Mondays. Uh, and then she takes a walk there. Coconut sequence came out okay. Man, that uh, getting that coconut drinking shot was difficult. Definitely didn't nail it. But um, And it looks a little bit like she's holding an oversized cherry bomb or uh, a Bomberman bomb or something like that. It was tough. Um, and then I wish she was holding it here because this is just like part of a day that doesn't seem connected. Also seems like a different person maybe because they're wearing a dress now. Um, and then she's like SOS and getting SOS. Like I, I was so perfect in my mind of just having like sand. It's going to end with SOS. She's going to be drinking, looking down at the beach. And then I just could not get that shot. But this one's fine. It's like there's, there's her shipwreck there. You have to read really far into that to pick that up. Uh, she, there's her shipwreck there. And there's this like, I don't know, feels like a, a, a Frank Miller kind of like uh, SOS-y kind of uh, thing. So I like it. Mondays are the worst because you end up getting shipwrecked or not being rescued. That's the thing about Mondays is you very rarely get rescued on a Monday. The image prompts are getting a lot better, interpreted a lot better, and you're getting back a lot more usable stuff, though. My reasons for not using them are clearly gone, but still so far proving difficult and awkward. Um, and what I found, this is what I found that I'm ending up doing is I'm ending up actually putting like my mid journey prompts, my text prompts that I would put in mid journey. I'm ending up putting th those in Google. Like I think doing AI art has changed the way that I Google search where I almost expect Google's image search to work like mid journey. The thing is, it's like really fast, right? In fact, that was so surprised when I was doing, uh, you know, searching for images to put into mid journey, like Google just pops them up right back. It was just like you, you type in a prompt and boom, you, you not only do you get like a grid of four, you get like pages and pages of images. They're not AI generated, obviously, at least not all of them. So just thought that was funny how I, I tended to search when I was searching for images like I was writing a mid journey prompt. Well, there you go. Three pages done using entirely image prompts. I'm calling the comic SOS stands for save our styles, save our something. I don't know. You come up with some kind of comic related words, save our stories. That's what it sounds like. Save our stories, mid journey. We got them. And you know, I don't know. I'm on the fence about this process. It was certainly fun. If you found it fun and educational, do me a favor, give this channel a like and give this video a subscribe. If you would like to do me better, do those in reverse order. That would be fantastic. And I will see you next time at Camp Peculiar. Yeah.